there's another type of filter that we can use. So under data, you'll see next to your filter is something called advanced. Now the advanced filter is set up in such a way that in separate cells you can create what you want the filter to do and we'll explain this just now and then you can run the filter so that this is driven by whatever we have in here so in order to create this filter so notice we've just copied our headers and just put them here and then underneath we've set up a few items so the way it works is we've put SPO2 because we want to filter on all the salesperson twos and in that same row I've typed bigger than 500, bigger than 500, bigger than 500. So what we're telling or what we're going to tell Excel is that we wanted to filter and include all the salespeople two whose product A are bigger than 500, product B bigger than 500 and product C bigger than 500. Then over here we've put SPO3 so anything on the same line is the equivalent of an AND, so the conditions must be this, AND, this, AND, this, AND, this. Anything on a new line is the equivalent of an OR, so it must look for that, OR it must look for this. So just using it, now that we've set it up, we highlight our data, we go to data, we go to advanced, so what you'll see, before we get into what it, we want to do, the list we set is over here. The criteria range, notice that Excel has spotted it, but just to show you, what we would do is highlight all of that. The action here is what do we want to do? Would we like to filter this list in place? So this is the equivalent, like when we use the filter, will hide the stuff we don't want to see. So let's do that first. I'm going to say OK. And notice what we have here is we only see situations where all the conditions are met. And you'll see we've got the OR as well, salesperson 3. In this case, we've hidden the data. So that's actually hidden there. Let's just undo. Let's do the same thing now, advanced. The list and the criteria are set up. This time I'm going to say copy to another location. So let's say we're going to take it and I'm going to tell it that the answer it comes up with must be put here. When I say OK, you'll see it's gone, extracted this information, and you'll see it's now put that information into a separate area. So with the data, the traditional filter, we'd have to filter, copy the area, and paste it here. This is that one step quicker. So do, let's just delete that. And let's run it again. So we're going to say advanced. The list looks like it's correct. The criteria is correct. Notice as well, we've got an item here saying unique records only. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say copy to another location and I'm going to say put it over here. And now when I say OK, because we ticked unique records only, you'll see there's a lot less records because it's following those rules. But if you remember on our previous examples, there are a lot of duplicates of this particular one. So those are all removed. So this can be used to set up a filter where you know you're going to be doing the same type of thing again and again and you don't really want to go and click on the filter and then say every month click here and choose a variety of items then click here then click here then click here so the advanced filter is for those type of conditions